Hooray for Hollywood! It's time for a post-Oscars edition of Cinema Chatcast with movie guru Ted Haycraft. The envelope, please. Just open, just, just open it. Just open it. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And the uh, best picture you can see. Oscar no, goes to. Do. Tanya Jordan. Oh, wait. No, that's the wrong envelope. I don't oh, know. Man. She's not even here. Yeah, she, she worked here. She's I don't know. not here, even Oh, nominated. here's the right envelope. I'm sorry. Oh, best okay. picture. That was we... the best actress. Oh, I, you know, okay. I don't know. I mean, Arrival. No. It, <laughs> that's what I would vote for. Oh, Arrival. But, okay. Well, yeah. I'm glad you arrived. <laughs> So hey, uh, but yeah, what did you think? Did you watch uh, it live? I, I didn't see it live. I heard. Oh, heard you probably did. You probably had it like every half hour in sunrise. Did you? Uh, we morning. did have it a lot. Yes, and, I figured. And uh, what a what a controversy! I slept in because I took the day off. And, and apparently, the I, guy, had sleep, I had to I had to. I know I had you, to you needed a day to decompress. <laughs> but apparently, the guy uh, who did the, the you know wrong envelope deal, he's got a lot of time to decompress. He's uh, yeah. gone. Apparently, he was tweeting photos yeah. of uh, well, I mean, of Emma Stone. Would you blame him? I mean, no, I don't. But you know, you got a job. Yeah. You know, get the right envelope, national TV. Yeah, it's huge uh, controversy. But anyway, uh, um, but it was a good show overall. But then it just like it just like it yeah. imploded, exploded, and everything. Yeah, yeah. What's interesting is Faye Dunaway, and they were honoring uh, Faye Dunaway and Warren Bay together again, fiftieth uh, year anniversary of uh, War, uh, Bonnie and Clyde. Wow. Apparently, they didn't get along on the filming of that film. So you know, and Warren's known. For his hesitation and his hawing and hemming, so I thought, and I was, I was, I was afraid when she goes like, "Oh, you're impossible." Because yeah. I thought Warren was doing his shtick, but he yeah. was really being serious. You know, and then he just handed it to her I, and just let her under the threw, I her, threw her under the bus. I made the analogy: the Oscars ended like the end of Bonnie uh -huh. and Clyde. Hey, it was a shoot 'em up. I mean, boom, everything yeah. was gone. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was, and it sort of <laughs> also repeats the uh, kind of the twist ending in La La Land, if you think about it. And it, uh, it deals with, I don't, spoiler alert! Uh, yeah, no. uh, yeah, but yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah I, that's that's true. But, but yeah, uh, that was a memorable or a yeah. forgettable finish. But overall, I had a great time. Yeah. I, I, there were mm -hmm. some good montages and mm -hmm. some good stuff in it. I, I it was a good show. I thought yeah. that uh, Jimmy uh, Kimmel was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was surprised, good. and I'm not, I, I don't really watch Jimmy Kimmel much, but uh, and I wonder if the Matt Damon jokes uh, everybody understood that because he said it was a long yeah. ongoing feud. Yeah, uh, well, it's a fun feud with yeah. Matt Damon yeah. and a Justin Timberlake's opening with the song. Yeah. I think that kind of gave oh, yeah. kind of like beat I, mood, I, I put everybody a good in start. a good mood. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So. Yeah, so uh, now we're it's over. We got to start with a whole new year. Yeah, whole and, new year. I know uh, ramp up to the next That's year. That's right, but still a lot of movies to see that you know did well. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. Boo Light just came out on yeah. DVD, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, speaking of Warren Beatty, his new movie Rules Don't Apply, which yeah. kind of got overlooked, yeah. and it's kind of a messy film, but it's yeah. worth seeing. It's out on Blu-ray DVD now. Yeah, and I want to uh, see Hidden Figures too. I haven't yeah, seen you that one. Yeah, that, you should see that. That's definitely worth seeing. I think. Uh, and then this week uh, we got new films. Uh, Before I Fall. It's some kind of uh, a girl in high school, and it's something kind of a Groundhog Day, Edge of Tomorrow thing, where she's repeating a day over and over again near the last week of school or something, and learn, trying to change things or learn a lesson or something. Okay. It's getting some good reviews, so it might be worth checking out. Table 19, a romantic comedy, uh, Anna Kendrick, I love her, but it, her and a bunch of other people, are, uh, it's, the, it's the one table at the wedding party where all the misfits are stuck in, uh -huh. and you know you know that, that scenario, where you're just kind of like, well, we're going to invite them, but we gotta, we'll just put them way over there. It's been a while since <laughs> I've been at that table, but I, I kind of miss it, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, that's a, uh, a new, a new faith-based movie called The Shack, which is apparently based on a very well best-selling novel, and then, last but not least, Logan. The uh, newest of the X Men movies, where it's uh, mm -hmm. well, it, uh, uh, Hugh Jackman's playing uh, Wolverine for the last time. He's been almost he's been Wolverine in every single X Men movie or in mm -hmm. cameos. Uh, he's an old man. He's not healing too well. Yeah, he's running, running around, uh, and he uh, encounters a young girl named. Uh, she's uh, basically like a, like a miniature version of her. Uh, uh, she's who? Uh, Wolverine. You know. Oh, the, 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 oh. Have you ever seen a Wolverine? You know what Wolverine is. Uh, was uh, Michael J. Fox in that? <laughs> Steve Wolf. <laughs> what was that? That was Teen Wolf. <laughs> and who was somebody just? I just saw some jokes about that Teen Wolf. But uh, uh, oh, Jason uh, Bateman I should have paid attention at rehearsal. Yeah, Jason Bateman was in Teen Wolf too. Okay. Michael J. All Fox right. played him in teen, the first uh, Teen Wolf. We're really good. Anyway, but speaking of Wolverine, okay, uh, we got this. Ooh. This is uh, this is Kate. Is that going to look back? Is it look for, uh, uh, yeah, uh, looks forward. We'll find out when yeah. we go back and watch this. But this is the the this came out. It's called it's a, a big old book, mm -hmm. reprinting early Wolverine stories when he was before he was an X Men, and the first story here is drawn by a I mean, it used to be one of our voice uh, 
uh, actors, Todd? Todd Fox. Oh, yeah. And uh -huh. this is uh, his uh, artwork. Are we stepping up our graphics and our production <laughs> quality Oh, yeah, we had here. props I mean, that yes, oh, my and, gosh. But anyway, he's got a 49-page story here in the front. Uh, he, he penciled. And he's going to be a, do, a book signing at Barnes & Noble in Evansville tomorrow at 1 to 2.30. And he's a good friend of yours. Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. We've been really good you friends. You and Jim Alexander, and, yeah, kind of the, yeah, the, the three musketeers. Of, yeah, that's yeah, right. Three musketeers, yeah, so. right. And speaking of comic books, I thought I'd bring this to another good friend of mine, Kyle Starks. He, uh, he's uh, writing the Rick and Morty comic mm -hmm. book, uh, which is based on a, a very critically acclaimed cartoon. Mm -hmm. And then this is the first collection of his ones he's written. Mm -hmm. He's also an Eisner-nominated uh, cartoon artist. So it's, Eisner's are kind of like the Oscars for comic books. I see. And he's going around to different shows and stuff. And this is out, too. And it's, uh, it's a Rick and Morty volume, uh, I think, four, volume four. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, comics, right. comics, movies. It's we just, are covering all kinds of genres. Uh, and today, I'm not done here, Gaffey. Oh, a couple of things. That is not done. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised? TCM Big Screen Classics this month, All About okay. Eve, uh, on March 5th and 8th. I think it's Sunday and Wednesday. Uh, that was up for 14 nominations. It won a whole bunch. Wow. It, was, it was the one that La La Land and Titanic and All About Eve have all had the most nominations. Right. It's going to be on the big screen, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a great movie. Betty Davis, awesome. he, he doesn't get any better than that. Mm -hmm. George Sanders in it. And I talked about the book signing, so I think I, that's cool. uh, it. So uh, lots of stuff right. going on. Went over my data limit, but that's okay. It's well <laughs> worth it uh, for a big uh, Cinema Chat cast we've got uh, today. Thanks. Uh, Teddy, so, we'll see you again next week. Hope you enjoy a comment on Facebook or wherever you'd like. Be kind. Hey, Jeremy. Have a great weekend. Envelope, please.